jubilant Republicans pushed on early Wednesday to the verge of the most sweeping rewrite of the nation's tax laws in more than three decades, a deeply unpopular bill they insist Americans will learn to love when they see their paychecks in the new year. President Donald Trump cheered the lawmakers on, eager to claim his first major legislative victory. After midnight, the Senate narrowly passed the legislation on a party line 51 to 48 vote. Protesters interrupted with chants of kill the bill, don't kill us and Vice President Mike Pence repeatedly called for order. Upon passage, Republicans cheered, with Treasury Secretary Steve Nookin among them. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, R. Kentucky, insisted Americans would respond positively to the tax bill. If we can't sell this to the American people, we ought to go into another line of work, he said. Trump hailed the vote in an early morning tweet and promised a White House news conference, likely Wednesday, when the House completes legislative action on the measure. Illinois lawmakers in Congress stuck with their parties Tuesday when the U.S. House advanced Republicans' sweeping rewrite of the federal tax code. U.S. Rep. Peter Roskam, a Whedon Republican who chairs the House Tax Policy Subcommittee, said in remarks from the House floor that the bill offers Illinois lawmakers in Congress stuck with their parties Tuesday when the U.S. House advanced Republicans' sweeping rewrite of the federal tax code. U.S. Rep. Peter Roskam, a Whedon Republican who chairs the House Tax Policy Subcommittee, said in remarks from the House floor that the bill offers. The early morning vote came hours after the GOP rammed the bill through the House, 227 to 203. But it wasn't the final word in Congress because of one last hiccup. Three provisions in the bill, including its title, violated Senate rules, forcing the Senate to vote to strip them out. So the massive bill was hauled back across the Capitol for the House to vote again on Wednesday, and Republicans have a chance to celebrate again. Hours earlier, House Speaker Paul Ryan, who has worked years toward the goal of revamping the tax code, gleefully pounded the gavel on the House vote. GOP House members roared and applauded as they passed the $1.5 trillion package that will touch every American taxpayer and every corner of the U.S. economy providing steep tax cuts for businesses and the wealthy, and more modest help for middle- and low-income families. Despite Republican talk of spending discipline, the bill will push the huge national debt ever higher. This was a promise made. This is a promise kept, Ryan and other GOP leaders said at a Victory News conference. Republican Sen Susan Collins ripped news coverage of her decision to vote for the GOP tax cut bill as unbelievably sexist on Tuesday. I cannot believe that the press would have treated another senator with 20 years of experience as they have treated me, the main senator told reporters at the Republican Sen Susan Collins ripped news coverage of her decision to vote for the GOP tax cut bill as unbelievably sexist on Tuesday. I cannot believe that the press would have treated another senator with 20 years of experience as they have treated me, the main senator told reporters at the Ryan, appearing on a nationally broadcast news show Wednesday morning, said the GOP is willing to risk running up deficits to jumpstart the economy with the aim of getting a higher annual growth rate.